Okay, so the Avs have won the Stanley Cup for the first time since 2001. And let's remark how the Avs got to this wonderful cup. Hello, we're the Buffoon Brothers. I'm Buffoon number one. I'm Buffoon number two. I'm Buffoon number three. I'm Buffoon number four. And today we are remarking, as we said a little bit ago, about how the Avalanche got to the Stanley Cup. While in 2015 and 16, the Avs finished with 48 points, the lowest in the whole NHL. And then five the next year, they got knocked out in the first round against the Nashville Predators. And in the and then for the next three years straight, they got knocked out in the second round. First in the bubble by the Dallas Stars in Game Seven overtime. Again in Game, I mean in the next series, they lost to the Vegas Golden Knights. And actually, that was two times in a row. And then the Blues almost knocked them out for the third time in a row in the second series. But Darren Helms says absolutely not and scores with 5.9 seconds left. Let's remark how the Avs started this journey. In game one, the Avs were ready. They took a 3-1 to one lead at the end of the first period. And at the end of the third period... I'm mean, at the, the end of the second period, the Lightning got one back, and then after the third period, they managed to tie it up, and we were going to overtime. In overtime, about a minute in, Valerian Achushkin went down the ice and shot it. His shot was blocked, and then it bounced on his teammate's stick. His teammate passed it to Burakovsky, who Andre Burakovsky, who is from the Washington Capitals and already won a Stanley Cup and passed it to Burakovsky, and Burakovsky scored. That was game one. Now please, buffoon number two, explain that game two, and that was crazy. So, in game two, the Avs took a blowout. Seven nothing. The Avs on top. Avs on top. Yep, and yeah. So, many goals, many things. Now, buffoon number three, Please explain that horrible loss to the Lightning in Game 3. So, in the Game 3, it was sad. Stamkos scored at the start, and then I th I'm pretty sure the Lightning got a 3-0 lead, and then the Avs scored, and we were really confident that they were going to tie, but they did The Lightning ended up getting um, four, five more goals, and the Avs only ended up getting one. So, the final score was 6 to 2 lightning win. Okay, buffoon number 4, please explain the game 4 and that was crazy. So in game 4, I don't really get it. The Avs was pretty confident with the Tampa Bay Lightning, which the Avs, well, the Lightning had a two a one goal lead and then the Avs got a goal, and then the Lightning got a goal, and then the Avs got a goal, and then the Lightning got a goal in the third, and... No, they didn't. And then, in overtime, Kadri dangled down, shot it, and it went, and no one could see it because it went so high, and it went so high in the net and got stuck behind the crossbar. Nice job, guys. Now, game number five, and that was also crazy. Game number five was really intense. No team since um no team had the no team had more than a two goal lead for the rest of the series after game three. And what happened was the lightning scored right out the bat and then the Avs scored the Avs scored. Then after that the lightning scored again and then the Avs scored. And then with five minutes about left in the third period, um, there was a pass to Palat, and Palat shot, and it went through Darcy Kemper's pads, and he was so close to saving it, and it squeaked into the net. It was so close, and they took a 3-2 lead, and the Avs weren't able to come back. Okay, now buffoon number two, please explain the game six after the Avs led the series 3-2. So in game six, the Lightning took an early 1-0 lead. And then Nathan McKinnon Nathan scored Green. the one-timer. And, um, yeah, they went for a review for nothing, really. And then, and then 
Andre Arturi Lekkinen scored, and that gave the Avs the cup. Yep, the Avs got the cup. For the whole rest of the game, there was basically nothing happening. In the third period, for the first 10 minutes, the Lightning didn't record a single shot. And so, you can't expect to win this baby without a shot in the first 10 minutes of the third period. And at the end of the third period, they only had two shots. And then, let's say what happened. Uh, let's see. Let's recount what happened next. Raised. Then, Landeskog, the team captain, Landeskog, got the cut from the announcer and rose it high above his head. And then he passed it to, to Eric Johnson. And then Eric Johnson passed over to, I'm pretty sure it was Miko Rantanen. And then Miko Rantanen passed it over to Darcy Kemper. Wow. So, guys, that was pretty cool. And that's how the Avs won their first Stanley Cup since 2001, when they had the biggest rivalry of all sports against the Red Wings after that hit that Mo that Claude Lemieux, number 22, hit on uh, Draper. of the Red Wings. If you want to see that? Go on ESPN and watch the video. I mean the... ESPN Plus. ESPN Plus. And watch the documentary called Unrivaled. Unrivaled. So, that's all for today. And we're the Buffoon Brothers, and we're out. Peace. Don't, Don't forget, forget to like and subscribe for more videos. And enjoy your friends. And just a reminder, we're the Buffoon Brothers, and we're out. Peace.